So how's your day? My day is not doing too well. I got a half a heart. I almost died. From a baby again. I really don't like those babies. Arr. Hey, it's KMA. How are you doing today? And welcome to the corner. We are back in my, ooh, in my farm world. Where we uh, did all these farms last episode. Let me show you what they look like now. So we got the sugar cane. I'm building that out. They're going to go over these three areas also. We got the pumpkins, the melons, and they're completely drawn out. And the bamboo, which is completely filled up for the amount that I want. Um, and there's approximately 90 to 100 steps for each one of these um, farms. So that's how long they are, 90 to 100 uh, blocks. But what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to mining. I need to start thinking about putting some armor on me and um, getting some good materials like iron and coal. So I have already made an area to go down and um, mine and it's over here and this is where my mining is going to be so I'm going to start digging down. So basically what I'm doing is I'm making a uh, tunnel that is six blocks high, a staircase, six blocks high to go down to level 16 I think it is so I can get to the iron and uh, that's what I'll do and at level 16 I will build a little room kind of like a staging area for whenever I do a strip mine um, then after that area is done I will be doing the area at level minus 57 I think it is I don't know all the levels anymore because I don't play the game that much anymore not as much as I used to at least so um, I'll get back to you when I get down to the bottom and maybe even make the room and uh, show you how I uh, do the strip mines. All right, I've made it down to level 16. So I just need to build a, a room here that will uh, cover as my first staging area. But I've run into a little cave. So I'm fixing the cave right now to um, be able to have this staging area. And then on the opposite side of this, it's gonna go back down again, down to the lower levels where you can get diamonds and stuff. So what I did is I uh, made this tunnel going down. That's the, uh, I think that's 16 or 17. And I added these uh, bamboo things every step. Um, I got rid of everything on the walls that does not have a stone background. So this has a stone background, so it stays because it looks like it fits. Um, but like the diorite and the andesite goes and gets replaced. Uh, so I keep the ores and I also keep the andesite just to give it a little change of look a little bit. And then I came down here and I cleared out my staging area and we got the birch logs stripped, the birch steer stairs up there, um, bamboo, sand, and oak. And then I, what I did was made this three wide tunnel going in both directions. It's going uh, five times 15, so 75 
blocks in each direction. And then I make a tunnel like this, the strip mine. Like I said, the um, distance in between each um, strip mine tunnel is 15 apart. The reason that is, is because I'm gonna be doing um, poke holes to the side. And let me show you what that does. One, two, three, four, five. If I did five that way, and then if uh, the next tunnel over, when I do five, one, whoops, always come prepared. Two, three, four, five. And what that leaves is five in the middle. Um, so it has five in the center. And so you can see the edge ones. You're just missing these three blocks in the center. And the reason why I'm doing that is because ore rarely shows up in a one block area. So seeing that it's so rare, it's okay to have this five here and having the three that you can't really see because it's doesn't really show up. Now pretend the tunnel is going down here and each one of these places is a poke hole to the side. I can see five blocks. The reason why I have four blocks in between, again, is because or rarely forms at a one block thing. So with these blocks cleared, I can see the blocks here and I can see the blocks on this side which only gives one in the middle. Um, and like I said, rarely does ore show up with just one ore in the middle. And if it does, you're only missing one ore. I'm going to show you the tunnel I've dug out. As you notice, the torches are 20 blocks apart. Um, I use 64 torches. So what's that? 120, 100, I mean 1400 blocks. That's how long this tunnel is, and I do poke holes along the whole way. So what I do down here in the mines is every four blocks as I uh, do a cut through look. So here's, this is what I mean by that. Um, here's the last poke hole. So I go one, two, three, and four. And I do a poke hole. So I go and do a uh, poke hole directly across the way from the last poke hole. Then I go down four. One, two, three, four. And do the same thing. I was gonna say, what happened to my shovel? So I have a story to tell you. I uh, finished this area down here, the first staging area. And I went down here, and you saw me do poke holes and stuff down this tunnel. And I um, found a cave, and I was exploring the cave, and I died uh, three times. A creeper blew me up, and then three little baby zombies got me, and I died. And um, so I figured, what do I need to do? to uh, get through this cave. So I diamond up 
if you didn't notice in the um, toolbar, task bar there. Uh, so I actually went along and made the secondary tunnel down to Y57, I believe. Um, let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> Look at this, it's an exact copy of the one up top. So what I did is I went down this first tunnel and as you see, I did poke holes the whole way. Um, so like 1400 blocks, poke hole every four blocks. And um, I uh, diamonded up everything, including tools. And I still have that many diamonds left over. I found another geode. So um, I did the trip right. So let's go and um, check out this cave and see how bad it really is now that I have diamond. So I need to light this place up. Oh, I forgot to tell you earlier. My um, thing with diamonds is I don't like to collect them without Fortune 3. And look at this, Fortune 3. You're probably like, how did you do that? What did you do? Did you do some enchanting? <laughs> um, I actually went over to the village that's across the way from where I am, and I uh, took a lectern and threw, threw it down about a hundred times until I got fortune three because that's all I was looking for for now and I got the fortune three and that's how I got so many diamonds um, so I believe the lectern is still over there I'll show you that in a bit if I need to prove a point that I'm not doing illegal things in this world I don't like cheating. Cheating is not good, so uh, there's certain things I will not do, like go into creative mode, uh, give myself stuff, and um, there's just, I, I don't do cheating. Uh, duplication things, no, forget that. I don't duplicate. Actually, I won't say that. I might duplicate. Um, I've never done this before, but I might make a TNT duper. So here's the um, cave entrance to that place that wanted me dead and succeeded three times. So let's see what is down here. See if I can actually get through it. This is the area I'm talking about. Actually, that's not the area I'm talking about. This is where I died. Down here. Brrr. Come on, die. Let's get this guy up here. All right. I think we've kind of cleared this area a little bit. Oop, let me uh, put that up there. Put that over there. I don't know how I got torches over here. Oh, I guess I came up from down there. All right, I'm gonna do some caving and I'll be back. Well, I've decided to uh, cave a little bit on camera here. Um, so I do need to clear out these caves. So why not do it on camera, especially seeing I've been dying a lot. And also, I decided to uh, take this time and tell you about other projects I've been doing the last few years. But uh, 
One thing, I was just waiting for the train to pass. We live um, right next to a train track, and sometimes they actually stall out. Not stall out, but they wait right at our place for the tracks to get clear. And that just happened. The, the train was just sitting there for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And when it has to get moving again, it honks its horn. And it's like 11.30 at night. So it's like, oh, guy. I mean, I don't care because I'm up. <laughs> so then I waited for the train. Hello. And um, then it started going. And it honked. It started going. And like 15 minutes later, it was still going. I actually don't mind it. It's so close, but you can't really hear it. But I can't really record with it. Um, if I'm recording and a train comes, I'll continue recording. But I'm not going to start a recording with it. I mean, there's a magical noise reduction stuff you can do. And I'm all for magical noise reduction. Oh, creeper. I hope I'm getting this lit up for enough for you. So, some of the things I've been doing on the side. Um, I have a couple other YouTube channels. Um, and I've come to realize that the less... I'm involved with it, with the channel, the more views I get. <laughs> so like a, a channel where I'm not really involved at all gets a lot more views than a channel with my face on it. <laughs> I don't know. But what I wanted to say was there is a span called Fish. They uh, formed in New England in the 80s, and in the early 90s, I ran into them, and they were still like kind of a bar band at the time. So I got to uh, befriend them a little bit. Oh. And. Uh, so I would, I cheered them on. So um, I kind of, I kind of befriended them, and I kind of cheered them as they became more popular. And uh, they became more popular for sure. Um, so now what I do, they allow taping at their shows. Uh, as long as it's not the soundboard, it's free to use. So I take tapers who get audience recordings and I mix them to sound better. Because, you know, concert recordings sometimes sound like crap. Or at least the building sound, you know, the... The, the resonance of the building shows up a little too much or, and things like that. But, um, so that's what I do. I remaster it and I upload it. Um, and that channel does pretty good. Uh, has over a million views. And, um, but I have you won't see my face on that channel at all. One thing that made me happy is I got a comment on that channel the other day stating that they were at the fish show and they were listening to the previous night's show and it was because my channel had uploaded the show already. That's what I try and do is I try and upload the show quicker than um, the fish company itself uploads them so I can get them out and I'm like the only place that you can hear the show from so I enjoy I enjoy that I 
getting to meet a lot of new people there. Um, and I'm becoming part of the fish scene, even though I'm not part of the fish scene. I don't ever plan on going to see one of their concerts anytime soon. Um, so that's one channel. And another channel I have is Buckethead Reviews. Buckethead is a guitarist that has almost 600 CDs. And because he has so much music um I have decided to uh do reactions to his CDs um record my reactions and talk about the songs and things like that uh but I have yet to start that it is in motion to be started but I have yet to start that. Uh, and I'm hoping it's going to do good. But like I said earlier, um, the more that I use my face, the less popular a channel tends to be. All right. My favorite channel, the one I want to work on. Um, remind me to turn off ACs before I start. Give me that torch back. There we go. Is this channel because it has Minecraft. And I like the Minecraft. Just saying, Minecraft is fun. And this channel has 195 um, customers, no, subscribers. Uh, and what I would like is for it to have. 200 subscribers by the end of the year so my goal is um, to get 200 subscribers on this channel and I need your help for that so if you have a friend and you like my content share it with them tell them there's a relaxing um, what is this Minecraft game <laughs> What is this Minecraft game after all? So yeah, let them know about me so I can get the 200 subscribers. Get me to 200 subscribers, that would be awesome. That would be a goal that it can cross off my list. So, uh, what else have I been doing in this life? The, uh, oh, I almost forgot to mention this. Um, I also have a Fiverr account, so if you needed something mixed or mastered musically, it doesn't even have to be musically. If you just need something to sound good, I can do that for you. Uh, it's what I do on Fiverr. It's like a little side gig, um, and it works pretty well because I have been working in music my whole life and I enjoy my, you know, playing with the sounds and stuff. If you're a fan of mine and you need something mixed or mastered, just let me know. I won't, if it's, a, if it's something simple, I won't charge you for it. I don't have any coal, okay. Let's get out of this cave. <laughs> Let's see how to do that. Once I get out of the cave, I'm going to end the video. So, I drew the good old torches on the left means going back home. So, I got still a lot to search out this is my death area place I died in a bunch of times and this is also another death area oh speaking of come on oh there comes a horde
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Jeez. That was a little too close for comfort. Still is, I don't have any food on me. All right. Let's hope we don't hear little babies running around. I'm gonna try and get out of here before I die. Oh, that was tough. I think the way out is over here. I'm running away. No fun. No fun. No fun. All right, I'm out of here. Everything is lit up till I get back. I don't even have food at home, though. That's a major concern for this world. Um, but I'm working on it. I got some cows going. I got some cows. Well, guys, well, you've run out of time. I got to get going. The video is close to 30 minutes long, and I like to keep it them within 20 to 30 minutes so um, we did finish the tunnels I uh, completely finished one of the diamond level tunnels and uh, just over half of the um, iron tunnel I'm gonna finish up the iron tunnel then we're gonna build a couple of things that deals with villagers that is right so Next episode, uh, we're doing something with villagers. And um, until then, have a great night. Bye.